What's up everybody? It's Evan here and today I'm going to be bringing you part 3 of my real time ocean series. In this part I'm going to be going over how to add in Fresnel to your ocean and plug that into our existing node group that we made in the previous tutorial. And as always the tutorial files will be in the description along with the previous tutorial links. In case you didn't know what Fresnel is, it's the amount of reflection on an object at a sharp angle basically. Now say we're looking at a sphere, as we look towards the edges of the sphere it's going to be more reflective and this goes for non-reflective surfaces as well. Everything in life has Fresnel. I'm not going to be going in too much more detail than that but I'm going to show you how to implement it. So with that said, let's get started. Okay so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your node editor and press shift A, input Fresnel. And then you're going to want to add a color mix node and pop it right in between there. Take the factor, plug it into the factor. Now we want to add in our normal map from our texture and go to ocean light, plug the normal map into there and reverse it to keep the no group setup organized and plug the normal into the normal. Next we want to adjust the color and this is going to be the color of the Fresnel. As you can see if I unplug this normal we get a better representation of what it looks like and I'll cycle through the colors so you can see. Right just adds that reflection on the edge. Now let me put this back to 111. Now this is a basic way of doing Fresnel. There are more complex ways where you can use textures like a blurred texture and a more sharp texture but for this this is all we need we can keep it basic now to adjust the Fresnel we can use this thing for now I'm going to keep it at 1.45 but later we're going to change it so we'll go ahead and plug our normal back in there and duplicate this output so we can bypass the Fresnel and plug that in there select it all right let's take a look at what this does see that it's a really good effect I use it on everything it's really changed my my uh, CG art up drastically since I started using this technique and the best thing is all real time so for ocean waves I think a setting about 1.2 works pretty good Sometimes it could be too much, but go ahead and delete that second output. Go back into node editor and we're going to group things and clean it up. So press control G with those two selected. And press tab and move this guy right around here. Tab back in and move this normal map up to keep things organized. So for the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over the foam aspect of it. It's going to be a long one. There's a lot of steps, but I came up with some unique solutions that I haven't seen out there before to save resources. So stay tuned for the next part. Oh, and I almost forgot. Rename and color your no group. So we'll name this for now. And we'll give it a white color to represent the reflection color. Alright, that concludes today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.